hello everybody and welcome to Coloritaville and our color chip and sip and chat for this week. Uh, this is going to be a little different than the ones that we've done in the past. If you look at the little ticker that's going across the bottom of your screen, you will see a StreamYard.com address. If you type that into any web browser, you can actually come into the stream with us. It will bring you into the green room and inside of the green room, we will um, be able to let you in and out. Um, that way we are limited on the amount of people that we can have inside at a time, but we'll do what we can on that. And we're going to test this because I think it would be really great for community building. So um, right now I have myself, Renee and Deb here in chat. Hello, ladies. Hello. Hello. And what, are, what are you guys doing this beautiful evening? I just got a set of acrylic paint pens, so I'm swatching them out. Yay, that sounds like fun. Yeah, they're a really fine, like really fine tip. Oh, wrong camera. The nib on them is really fine, so they'll work really good with doing um, fine things on Bob's prints. Gotcha. Are those similar to the uh, hoo-hoo's that I showed the other day? Um, nib water? No, maybe. I okay. Don't remember if I watched that one? I should have. You should have. Yes. Did you not know that a hoo has a forty count of those? Do they? They do. It's forty, and it's in a cute little hoo bag. The whole nine yards. It's really neat. So these are are quite a hard tip, but they're really small. Yeah, that looks very similar to those Ohuhus. It really does. That's cool. And there was 24 in the box. The box is kind of cool. The box looks like a... Oh, oh that's neat. I never used acrylic paint. I use it... Like, I have a set of larger ones done by Arte uh, Arteza or Arteza or however you guys say it. And... <laughs> I they say work Arteza, really good. But, you know, tomato, tomato. They work really good, um, but their tips are quite wide. So doing smaller things sometimes can be a bit of a pain in the butt. So when I saw these ones on sale, they're not anymore. I just looked them up to see if they were on sale. And they're back up to $42. Oh. And I got them on sale for 12 Oh, wow. Oh, my. I'm checking. I'm trying to get our names to pop up. Hi, Madison. Yay, you can stay. That's oh. awesome. Yeah. Um, let me see. Yay, well, that's good. It's always good to have be able to stay for a little while, you know. Right. So, Renee, I know you're a little more knowledgeable than this than I am. How do I make this show everybody's names? Um, I think you have to take the ticker off. I think the ticker knocks it off. Oh, darn it. Okay. I mean, I really hate to take the ticker off. That's the only thing I can think of. Hi, Zolan. Uh, Zolan, how do you do that? that? Nope, it's under branding. He's telling me how to do it. Thank yeah. you. Me. Um, uh, show display names. I see it. Thank you. There you go. I haven't had to do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. God, no. no, no. Yeah, the Zolan knows everything. That's awesome. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to sit here and I'm coloring with these Walu Walu or whatever that I reviewed today. So well, I thought that would be kind of a neat <laughs> thing to do. Yeah. And I'm telling you, I was not kidding when I said that those things were hard to get out. I mean, if it wasn't for the nails, the little bit of nails that I've grown, <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't be working. No, well, that's not good. Oh, 
I actually like those Parku markers, um, Madison. They're actually really good. Yeah. Are they, are they alcohol? Or yeah, the Parkus. I actually, now I'm not sure. I don't know that, I don't, Madison, the ones that you've got, I'm, I don't remember if we discussed this before. Are they like the Cali Arts or are they more like the Sharpies? Because the ones that I've tried are, are the ones that are more like, like Sharpies or Bix, but they are really good. Oh, yeah, now I remember you doing those. Yeah. Yeah. That was kind of neat. I think the whole purpose I wanted to do this was to mess with these fine liners. Now here I am trying to use the brush. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was I was in the processes of uh, doing a picture with the Artezas, and then these came to the door, so I got sidetracked. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Well, they're like the Cali art, she said. Oh, Maybe see, I, I have not seen those. I looked, that's what I thought we discussed once before, and I looked those up. And I don't know that I found the link for that. So that's that's really cool. Yeah, those I have not tried. I've only tried the, I think these were a 36 count. And they are more like Sharpies. Oh, uh, thanks a lot and enjoy your drone, sweetie. That sounds like a lot of fun. Have fun with that, Zolon. Hey, Janice. Hi, Janice. How are you? Who's cutting out? Is it me cutting out? Because if that is... Oh, yes. You know what, Renee? That's what I was telling you about yeah. Saturday. Renee, yeah, I'm yeah, I'm yeah, in Renee's video Saturday, hers was kind of doing like that also when I had made those comments. But then when it uploaded, you know how when you're doing a live stream after you're off, it actually becomes a video. And at that point, I went back and replayed it and it was it was 100% fine. So I don't know if it's going on in... StreamYard or YouTube? Yeah, I don't know. I've never had that problem before. No, because I mean, now we've both, you know, you streamed the, and now I'm streaming. So it's it's apparently doing that with, for both of us. Yeah. That makes me not happy. And and that's two different StreamYards. Excellent. So I think it's YouTube. Or, I mean, it could be the servers for StreamYard, but. Yeah, I don't know. There is some kind of a delivery truck outside, and that's what these dogs, you know, they've got the little backup beep, beep, beep thing going. Mm -hmm. Hey, Mousy. Oh, hey, Mousy. Hi, Deb. I thought you were coming in here with us to chit chat. Yeah, come okay, on. Come back shortly. Hi, Darcy. And Darcy, I think you may have been the one asking about can we all talk one day? And, um, you know, the, the link's on the ticker right there if you guys want to come in. Yeah, that's an idea, Zolan. I'll take a look in uh, Facebook because I think we're streaming to Facebook too, aren't we? Yeah, but um, you well, did it's Saturday, did you? No, I didn't stream to Facebook. But what I'm saying is if it's a, an issue with StreamYard, it'll be doing it in Facebook. And oh, if it's in a, yeah, right. uh, Amazon, it'll be only doing it in Amazon. So YouTube. Or, yeah, YouTube. <laughs> Bring Hi, stuff Deb. on Amazon. It's all right. <laughs> yeah, let's stream to Amazon. I want to see this. <laughs> they should let us. I'm telling you, for all the money that we've been making them. Because, <laughs> you know, it's like you get on here and you start saying, hey, look at this, look at that. And everybody's buying everything that everybody else is getting. Yeah. <laughs> but, hold on a second. I'm going to mute this. So oh, you're going to go over to Facebook and take a look. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. So just give me a second here. Yeah. I'm going to be praying for you, for uh, your niece, your niece's daughter. Okay. Um, for sure. Let us know how that turns out. Cause that's really scary. 
Oh, Madison's got a family member who's going to have a baby soon, soon, soon. Oh. Yay, yay. <clears throat> Oh, enjoy dinner, Darcy. You know, check back when you get home. You never know. I mean, the last yeah. time we did this, it was four hours. <laughs> right. Hey, Kim. Okay. I have to jump off here. I'll let you back in, sweetie. Okay. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hey, Kim. How you doing, Kim? Oh. Hmm. So, I mean, I think these fine liners actually do pretty good, Deb. They're looking good. I mean, they're smooth. I mean, I think I'm seeing a few more lines with these than I saw with the other end, but I mean. Doing good, Kim. Thank you. My birthday's coming up next week. I'm excited. Oh, oh, should I wait until Renee gets back? No, I'll show you guys. Look, <laughs> look what I got today. Deb sent this to me. I got it in the mail today for my birthday. Isn't she precious? <laughs> Deb knows me so well. Purple angels and butterflies that it just couldn't be any more perfect. <laughs> Janice, I really, I don't know what's going on with that. Sweetie. I wish I knew because like I said, Renee was doing that Saturday and then um, when it came in, it was fine. You know, after we had gotten off and it just become a video. So I don't know. Renee's going over now to Facebook because we're streaming there also. And she's going to see if we're cutting out on Facebook Oh, and that's funny, Deb. I said that Renee wasn't here, but she saw it on the stream, probably. Mm -hmm. I forgot. Okay. That was the whole purpose she left. She was going to watch right. the stream on Facebook. You're not hearing, and Zolan says he's not hearing any clipping. Where are you watching? Are you on Facebook or are you on, well, no, you're in on YouTube because you're chatting with me on YouTube. Okay. I don't. I don't know. Oh, Renee says it's not stuttering on Facebook. She just commented from Facebook. So okay. we're good. I don't understand. What's on the full set syndrome? Kim, what are you looking at? I think I missed. Yeah, oh, they are some. the pencils. Oh, yep. <laughs> I, you know, when I got mine, they didn't even have 120 sets. So, oh, goodness. Oh, excuse me. So, like I said, guys, any of you guys that want to actually join in and talk, you know, real time talk, just follow that link that's on that ticker and come on over, follow the directions, and I can let you into the stream. And we can actually talk together instead yeah. of you know, waiting for messages to come through. All is welcome. You know, just right. follow, follow standards for YouTube because, you know, the, I intend for the stream to be monetized. That's all I ask is let's try to keep it, keep it clean. <laughs> oh, well, I got it. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, somebody come join us. You know, I miss having babies. Well, I don't miss it at, you know, in the middle of the night, all the getting <laughs> up and things like that. But I'm, I'm really, really ready for some grandbabies because, you know, those you can spoil rotten and send them home and, <laughs> yeah, that'd be lots Ooh. of fun. So, Deb, are you actually coloring today, or are you just chilling? I am. I'm using the twi markers. Gotcha. 
I don't know why. Because... Get a little bit, Darcy. <laughs> Zolan, you said that the last time. <laughs> Renee's back. Uh, Hello, Renee. Hello. There was no stuttering on Facebook at all. I saw that. Yeah, so Zolan, just re Zolan just reminded me that it doesn't have to be clean on here to stay monetized. <laughs> it doesn't have to, but <laughs> it depends on no, how. And I'm not, I'm not looking for. I'm not looking for like child friendly. I'm just looking for, you know, the trigger things, the, the trigger things that get you demonetized, the certain words and phrases and things like that that'll make you lose your monetization. That's oh. what I can't, that's what I don't want. This is, so I should just <laughs> stop talking. <laughs> no, no triggers either. And you know what trigger words I'm talking about. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Can I show you? I can tell you. Because I, I, can, I can trigger anywhere. <laughs> Hold on a second. Let me trigger. <laughs> so is she so mad at Is she really enjoying um, coloring? That's pretty cool. Oh, that is cool. Yeah, of course, no one can find that list until it is too late, Dolan. That's right. You've already said them 40 times, but now you <laughs> right. not allowed to say them. <laughs> you generally find out when you get that little notification that says your video is not eligible for monetization. Uh -huh. nice. And then you have to go back and listen and you're like, what did I say? <laughs> go through the little list of words. <laughs> Oh, what am I going to do with these? Well, the, the silver and gold are pretty in this. Yeah, that's what I thought about the Uhuhu. It had some gorgeous metallics. It really did. And the white stands out really nice, too. So I think I might have a new white for my stars and highlights. Because... Oh, yeah. I like the, the jelly rolls and whatnot, but they're sometimes a little bit too fine. Yeah, I can see that. I want something a little bit thicker, but I don't want it as thick as the other ones I have. Right. Sometimes they can be really thick. All right. Uh, you know, and I'm con I'm not convinced that's what I think I'm hearing, that backing up, unless somebody is doing some kind of something. I don't know. Because I still it, keep hearing that, and it's irritating the dog. I'm beginning to wonder what that noise actually is. It could be Bob's printer. Oh, is it a whistling sound? It's a little bit of a beep, but yeah, I'm like, in a completely different room, so I don't kinda know. Kind of like how... a woo, woo, kind of like that. Yeah. yeah. That's exactly, it just did it. That's yeah, it's Bob's that's printer. Exactly what it is. It's <laughs> crazy. That's funny. That's that's hilarious. Because <laughs> I can hear it, but you know, my my microphone shouldn't be able to pick that up. Yeah, all you see is white screen. White screen? No. Is is she in the green room? No. Somebody um, came into the green room, so I heard it ding. Yeah. Maybe that's that's her. There's nobody. It would she, be showing up at the bottom for me to let them in, and there's nobody here. No, she's uh, probably at the start point where she's checking her camera and whatnot. She has to make sure her camera is broadcasting to the uh, internet. Yeah, because she's on um, she's on an iPad. You should you shouldn't have a problem with that. Uh, Deb, did you just click that link that I sent on that in that Facebook chat? Oh. Yeah. Try that again. Right, yeah. Because I know that uh, sometimes, like, if I don't have my 
that can't possibly be you, Renee. Hold on. I'm actually going to open up my back door and see because that cannot possibly be that printer. And if it is, I could not live in your house when he's printing. Hold on. I don't think it is. I think there's something going on outside my house. <laughs> it's not that loud. It's that better off. I've gotten really, really used to it. <laughs> oh, funny. It's Bob's printer. <laughs> That's crazy insane. <laughs> I, okay, I'm so Deb. used to it. I can't hear it. So here we go. We got Deb. Hello, Yay, Deb. 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 Hello, 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 hello. Yay. Hey, is, Deb. Is volume okay? Too loud? Whatever. Perfect. Now find me. Okay. All right, so we have our entire admin team from the Cozy Coloring Corner here today. That's awesome. Yay. Hey. <laughs> cool. Now you got us all. <laughs> yeah, we, have, we have Deb, we have Twin Deb, we have Renee, and we have me. <laughs> and pardon the people house sounds. I'm going to be sitting down here in a minute. We'll be a little bit quieter. Uh, trust me, none of these noises are going to be anything compared to Bob's printer. <laughs> <laughs> it's been driving me crazy. I thought there was like a backup truck or something outside. Back up, and I'm like, what in the world? And my dogs are going crazy. I'm like, no way. It's still making that noise. And she's like, could it be Bob's printer? Well, as yeah. long as it doesn't sound like my tinnitus or tinnitus. Right, Jim. Like I call it tinnitus also. So, so is way. your is in sync tonight or is it all out of sync no it's all in sync both of them are together so it's when awesome it's when one starts squealing and the others oh no kidding oh, god for small miracles right yep yep, <laughs> yep. that drives you crazy when that happens i hate it Deb, she says, Janice says she can barely hear you. So, I mean, I don't know if, I don't know if she can raise her volume because she's just using a, um, iPad, iPad. Yeah. right. So I, I very, I, you know, unless she's probably not using an external microphone. No. Yeah. I had to get an external microphone just to, I mean, the mic um, on my camera wasn't even good enough. I have hmm. one, but it's in the computer room with the computer and all that other good stuff. You're fine. Just yell at us. Okay. Just, Just raise your it. voice at us. It's all good. Oh my God, no, I sound I'm terrible anyway. I sound like I'm on megaphone all the time from yelling at the guys at work. <laughs> and as you guys can see, if you can make that out, um, I'm not the only one in the room with this Southern accent anymore. Okay. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, both did. Just point she that said, out. Janice says she doesn't hear you very well either. And I mean, I don't understand because Deb does have an external. Deb, well, Deb, Deb has an external microphone. Huh. Double B. Double B. Deb, 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 Suppose. You know, Janice, you can you can hop on in and just chat with us too. Yeah. Then we can hear you better. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. Anyway, anyway, I can see chat while I'm in here, or do I need to pull up? My uh, yeah, file? just uh, click on comments up up at the top of the screen there. Right hand side on the top, it should say comments. That's going to be the chat. Um, also, if you just want to pull up YouTube and kind of if you can figure out a way to pull up YouTube and watch the YouTube chat. The one thing we did notice during the um, stream the other day is that sometimes there can be like a three to five minute lag between when somebody leaves a comment and when it actually pops up in StreamYard. So oh, yeah. I've, I've actually got both running. Yeah, I go to YouTube sales a good bit and boy, the lag is bad. That's where you learn how bad it is. And that's a what? What? Sales? Live sales on YouTube. Oh, I didn't know they had that. Oh, you don't want to know. 
<laughs> no, if you meant sales is actually buying something, no, I don't want to know. No, me neither. <laughs> Just, we won't go there. <laughs> but I'm going to assume there's some pretty cool stuff over there since you're there. So. Yeah, yeah. Deb, Deb's already mentioned that one to me before, and I, I, I avoided asking. <laughs> I hang out more with the, uh, I guess you'd say the crafting group where, you know, it's, cra it's papers and, and tools and supplies and fabric yep. and oh, all this gorgeous stuff that I want. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Well, th thanks for the tease. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I can hook you up, baby. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, my gosh. You little tease you. <laughs> I do not know if I've ever heard the word tease used in that <laughs> context. <laughs> really? Not, not with crafting supplies. <laughs> Whatever you want. <laughs> Just give me some pencils and some paper and I'm good to go. <laughs> I'm easy, just not cheap. <laughs> Am I still here? Yeah. Your cat hit a button. Uh oh. Hi, kitty kitty. The one thing I don't like about these markers is they are individually wrapped. <laughs> oh, oh. I think I remember what I don't like about fine liners too. They take freaking forever. Yes, they're only good for little <laughs> tiny things. <laughs> well, I mean, I just wanted, you know, I thought I actually picked this little mandala just because it had such teeny tiny detail. And I was like, I just want to see if it holds up. And it did. <laughs> I've heard a beat, but I don't see anybody trying to get in. Is there something I'm supposed to be watching? They people are going to pop up on this bottom thing, right, Renee? They should. Yeah. Right. Go on <laughs> if you're still here. Uh, Zolan might have tootled off. I haven't seen him say anything for a while. <laughs> yeah, he hasn't said anything since Deb asked about the if it would work on a phone or a tablet. Uh, but I know I heard the beep, like somebody came into the green room, but then I looked up and there was nobody there. No, okay. Maybe somebody thought about it and got scared. Probably. But we don't bite. No, they don't. Hey, Fairy Vixen. Zolan sent you, did he? <laughs> yeah, he said that he shared it and everything. That's cool. Okay, I will be right back. I'm going to throw this in the garbage. And I don't think I can reach there from here with my mic, so I'll try. Yay. We got posted on Zolan's Facebook. We're so famous. <laughs> famous. Nope, can't reach. Nope. Right. Um, we got advertised by another YouTuber. Woohoo! Woo it, it doesn't matter that we're not in the same genre or whatever. You know, it doesn't. That's just cool. That's all makers. <laughs> we're all makers. Exactly. I'm telling you, one of these days, I'm going to get myself one of those 3D printers and I'm going to figure out how to use it. Of course, I saw the rooms. I was watching their chat the other day, and I saw all the rooms people had these set up in, and I'm like, gosh, I don't have room for all that. Right. But it looks like it'd be really cool. Yeah. I mean, it looks like people have, like, whole garages and basements and all kinds of stuff set up. There are close the door, so tell me if you can still hear it. But... Renee, it's fine, really. I just I no, the dog I, now. I, it might be an I issue really when the dog back in me. again, but I mean, it wasn't so much bothering me as it was driving the dogs crazy. And that was so funny. <laughs> that is funny. It reminds me of a hospital sound. Beep. Yeah, something kind of like that. Yeah, it's it's when the uh, printer head goes back and forth. It hits a spot and it goes meet and then it goes back and <laughs> robot. I'm guessing you got sleep with that noise too. 
Oh, oh Deb got kicked. I, Sorry, Deb, you're back. My bedroom is on the other side of the house. And yeah. I closed the door. Oh. Gotcha. Fairy, these are actually um, Walu Walu. It's 120 set. Um, it's got fine liners and a brush on the other end. So you get a fine liner and a brush. It's 120. Um, on the channel, I did a review today on these. So, yeah. They're actually pretty. They're okay. Why is your birch tree not working? If anyone wonders, it was my cat that knocked me offline. <laughs> Kim, are you, are, do you have a 3D printer? Is that what you're talking about? So, Renee, what is the least amount of space I would have to have if I wanted to get, like, I don't know, some kind of a printer that I could print stuff like that out with? Um, you can get a uh, Prusa Mini, and I th think they're pretty small. Uh, Vixen, how big is the, the Prusa Mini? So I can just tell just by asking that that um, <laughs> they they are pretty small. I'm I don't have space, and that's just something I don't have. So probably gonna have to probably get a house. The ones in the office, um, your desk that you that you're working on right now, uh -huh. will hold two of them. Oh, okay. Like, but you know, Kim, both Kim of Bob's are on my old desk. Cool. Yeah, but if you think about it, um, trees, wood is more of a grayish color than it is a brown. I know some people argue right. about that last year when I said that on a video. But if you go out, at least in Georgia, if you go out and look at the trees, you'll see more grays in that than you see brown. Yeah, yeah. Trees have quite a bit of gray in it. And yeah, fairy. These are actually they're pretty cool. I mean, um, the company actually sent these to me and asked me to do a review on them. And you know, I did the review today. Um, they're much better than I thought they were going to be, to be honest. Because I mean, I'll I'll tell you guys on the stream. I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to say it in a review video for another company, so I never would say the name. I'm sure when you watched it, Deb, you were like, oh, I know exactly what he's talking about. Um, I'm pretty uh, sure I know which ones you're talking about. Yeah, I I had actually bought a set of 100 count Ohuhus. Is that them? No, these are just a basic brand. Okay, the ones I bought was actually by Ohuhu, but it was like that. And the ones that was Ohuhu, oh my God, the nib, the, the brush nib was really hard and i felt like if you put any pressure down on it whatsoever it was just gonna completely come apart and i mean I, mm -mm. when you put yeah. them on the paper it was scratch 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 so when this company first approached me and i saw what kind of pen it was my first thought was you really don't want me to review that <laughs> well when you when you were doing your review when you first brought them out i thought they were the same thing yeah. And I mean, this is the only, and I have, you know, it's like I said, I got the Ohuhu's and tried those. And then I can't remember what brand it was. I think I got some small brand It maybe, gosh, I don't remember. It was either Ross or, um, because gosh, I, don't, I don't know, but it was, it was only like a 12 count that was similar to these and they were the same way. And I was like, Oh, these are terrible, terrible. You know, I, I told Deb last night when I got finished with a picture with the, the Walla Wallows that I wanted to do, one with the Ohuhu's because I really wanted to give the Ohuhu's a fair shake. I was like, maybe I really didn't give them a fair shake the last time. I pulled those out today. There was growth on the ends, on some of the ends. I mean, it was like moldy, moldy looking stuff. And it's only been stored for like maybe, what, maybe four or six months, something like that. And um, it, it was terrible. And some of the ones that weren't, I was like, okay, well, I'll try to work with these. And I put it on the paper and I was like, oh yeah, no, I'm not doing that. That whole scratchy, scratchy thing started. And I was like, uh-uh, nope. Yeah, no, these aren't scratchy. They're um, not is very there, many. Is there any give in the- Oh yeah, lot, 
Yes. Oh, so the brush is, is very giving because, you know, yeah, that, and that may be closer to this one because, I mean, see, the brush is actually very giving. Yeah. See, if you watch the brush. And it was not exactly. So no. those that you have may be closer to these, but those by Ohuhu is, is uh -uh, no, no. Yeah. And I generally love Ohuhu products. So it really shocked me when I don't think I like that green. It really shocked me when um I tried those and I was like, oh yeah, no. Mm. And the the fine tip is not scratchy at all. It's really quite smooth. I'm always afraid of fine tips of pressing too hard on them and smushing them in. Right. <laughs> and you know, that's I was actually impressed with these fine liners because, you know, I felt they were smooth. And you know, most are Most really of the more budget friendly. I think I want a darker green. I don't like the lighter. Um, most of those budget friendly ones, they have a tendency to to be that way. So yeah, because I've got like actual fine liners as well, and they're a little bit scratchier. Yeah, and these don't seem very scratchy, and so I'm very I am impressed with the fine liners on these, and that's why I was like, oh, you know, because all I'd really done was swatched, and you know, kind of played around a little bit. I hadn't actually had a chance to truly, truly color with them. Hi, yeah, Patty. I've got all sorts of fine liners. You know, this one, Patty just these ones here are really smooth. Hi, Patty, honey. Hi, Patty. Yeah, I am. Um, I have the Arteza fine liners and I don't like them. Yeah, I, I don't have the Arteza ones. I bought those ones for my mom and she likes them but she only uses them for little things and outlines yeah i didn't i didn't she think actually just... color with them as far as i know now my favorite as far as fine liners is the stabilo yeah those are nice I like that them. is by far you know and and then i've got things like this Oh, yeah. Oh, this one has sparkle. Okay. I thought it was just a basic. And I use these a lot. And these are just the neon color. That's awesome. But I don't use them nearly in, as much as I should. Another one that I have that's a I think a fine, finer point is the Bix, and they're Ooh, really that's smooth. Yeah, definitely. Nice. I, I do like the really small Bix. I love my Bix. I love yeah. my shark. I was wondering if your cat had eaten you over there or something, did. No. <laughs> but I don't have very many colors in the Bix. I have blue, black, and green, and red, <laughs> and silver. If these two Sharpie would make more colors, they would get yeah. a lot of money out of me. I know. I mean, it's like they have what? Like maybe 30-something colors, about 36-something, yeah. and that's it. If that, to be honest. I like, I like this silver, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, okay, that's I just pretty. bailed on the toy markers. I'm, a, I'm using alcohol markers. <laughs> I said, what in the world are you talking about? You bailed on. <laughs> I bailed on them. They're making me too nervous. <laughs> the water? I'm going. Well, the paper I'm using doesn't like the water, so I'm switching to alcohol. <laughs> alcohol markers. Excuse me. Liquors always, but oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I knew that was coming. Go ahead and say it, Deb. Go ahead and say it. <laughs> say, Pour them in there. I knew it was coming. I know what she's going to say. She's going to say alcohol is always better. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to use those um, Arteza ones here, but it doesn't look very good to me. What book is that? That is Jane Hankins. Yeah, I know. And that Imaginary Underwater gotcha. World. Gotcha. I actually oh, showed, well, you guys don't know it yet, so I'll shush. Yeah, shush. <laughs> okay. 
Separate secrets. <laughs> yep. yep. Oh, I finally got the new Ravenscroft book from Great Britain. It's beautiful. Oh, oh did any of you guys order the um or I mean I don't know. Some of you may I mean this may be one of their subscriptions. I don't know. But did anybody order the uh coloring haven fairies con completion or however you say it? No. Uh, it's out now and I've got it. It should be coming in the mail. So I'm excited about that. I guess it's just, it's a bunch of the different fairy magazines from the last, or a bunch of the images from the different fairy magazines from the oh, last. Oh, Color in Heaven. Let me see. Color in Heaven, yeah. Color in Heaven. Wait, wait, wait. I think I have that. I'm, well, I should have it. I subscribe. Yeah. You may have fairy. But I don't know if, unless you got it like in the past couple of days, you shouldn't have this one. It's just gotten mailed out from the UK to everybody. Okay. Yeah, I haven't got my uh, my subscription this month, so the last one I got was the cat one. Uh, I get mine around the I got this one. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I, my my um, subscription, I think, lapsed, so I didn't get that one. And actually, I think I, that I may have actually enjoyed that one. You know, when... When Deb first said something to me about it, I was like, oh, yeah, cats. Thank God I didn't get that. But then I saw people coloring in them. I was like, well, those are actually kind of cute. Yeah. Let's see. Actually, I don't think I renewed my subscription, and they, but they just politely keep taking it out of my Amazon <laughs> money. So that's okay. Uh, <laughs> I've got some never, pretty cool pictures in here. See, some of those are really cool. I don't know. And I'm not sure if the fairies one that I'm talking about is like the one for this month or if, you know how they'll have those special editions like that Sarah Kay was? Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I think no, it kind of be like that Sarah Kay. Yeah. I don't know if this month's is a, a Halloween one or I have no idea. Oh, okay. I oh yeah. It should be something Halloween -y because you know, the next one won't get here until, you know, almost yeah. Halloween or after. Yeah. Yeah, but there's a few in here that I really like that I'll end up coloring. My mom colored a ton of these um, as uh, a designated colorist for him when he first came out with, before oh. he made the book. Oh, that's cool. So, oh, that's really awesome. So uh, I've seen 99% of them <laughs> because she colored them and they, you know, she, she colors way better than me. So. <laughs> oh, Janice, that's, that's crazy. Um, so they're going to do a set. They did a 72 hour test. You should have the results in the next 72 hours. That's cool. Oh goodness. Yeah. Keep a close eye on her. And I mean, if, if she, if, it, if that breathing gets worse, do not hesitate to take her straight to the hospital and say, uh, yeah, no, you're going to keep her. Yeah. But I'm not liking these watermarkers very much. Which I think ones? it's the, any of them. <laughs> I yeah. can't do anything with water. Yeah, I'm not so, very fond of watermarkers myself. I mean, I can do that. And, I, and I, it's just because I haven't played with them enough and I have I have to get some watercolor paper so that I can play with them better. Oh, I imagine they're beautiful on watercolor paper. But <laughs> I can do a lot. I do fine with ink tints for some reason. But when See, that's to, weird. If you can do ink tints, I don't understand why you're struggling. I cannot do anything with a watercolor marker except make little peels and holes. And hmm. Yeah, that's my problem, too, is I'm trying to put too much on because I'm trying to get rid of the lines. And streaks, yes. Yeah. If you think it's too freaky, the best thing you can do is walk away from it, let it fully dry, and then come back yeah. and try to mess with it again. Yeah, and that's what I'm trying to avoid is... is Nesting with it when I know if I just leave it alone, it'll be fine. <laughs> but I, I'm used to pencils, and pencils you just 
keep them. Yeah, and the truth, the truth <laughs> is that anybody who knows anything about water base knows that you can expect those streaks and things like that. Um, it's actually kind of rare that you don't get them yeah. with yeah. water. It's kind of but, part of it. Right. It's kind of, it is, it's kind of a part of it. I'm yeah. so stuck. And a lot of people really dig that look. So. Yeah. It, like I said, it, it's one of those things that I have to play with and get used to and get used to how hard I'm pressing or if I'm pressing or, you know, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. I just don't like to print everything out, so I'm always trying to do everything, whether it's water or alcohol or yeah. whatever based in the books. Yeah, Patty, I thought this was a neat little idea. And, you know, we've got to get our dibs where they're willing to go on camera. Um, I've been telling both of them that I'm going to get them a camera and a tripod and mail it to them if they're not going to do something about it on their own. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I thought it was a really neat way to like build community and, um, you know, just color sipping chats. And even if you don't want to be on camera, I mean, it's fine, but there's, there's a link going across that ticker for anybody who wants to get in. You can follow that link. It'll literally bring you into this stream so we can actually like sit and chit chat. Yeah. So feel free to follow that um, link. Anybody jump on in. We don't oh, bite. Man, the water's great. We don't bite yeah. hard. We don't bite hard, no. We might nibble a little. I'm full. Like I said, we don't bite hard. I've never <laughs> had any complaints. Shh. Hey. Shh. <laughs> that was not one of those words. <laughs> no, I, I've only left scars once. Yeah. Oh, my God. Last I don't even want to know. <laughs> I was young once. I suddenly remembered. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I was young once. And yeah. The thing I, I remember you don't want to know about. <laughs> There's a few days I don't remember, but whatever. There's some, some years I don't remember. <laughs> this. Janice says that she is not coming in here with you because of because we'll be relentless with her Kentucky accent, except this is what she said. And if it's any worse than this, I'm going to do this in my normal voice when I'm not trying to fake it for a camera. Because <laughs> I really do try to tone it down on camera. OK, <laughs> this is really what Janice said. I ain't coming in there. Y'all be too relentless with me and my Kentucky accent. <laughs> So come on in here, Janice. Um, join the club. <laughs> I try to use my secretary voice. <laughs> I noticed that when I when I had my I had a job and I worked on a truck yard, but you know, part of that we also worked, you know, in the offices. We had to answer phones for tell, you know truck companies and all this kind of yeah. stuff. And you know, there would be times also because we were like quote unquote security there. And they used us basically as glorified secretaries, even though we were security. Mm. And I would have to make announcements of the intercom. And I always noticed I could be sitting in there having a conversation with somebody right next to me, you know, just my normal everyday self. And I need to page somebody and I pick it up and the whole voice changes. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. Well, sorry. Sorry. Choo -choo train. Yep. sorry about the train. It's a library. When I get on there, every. <laughs> I don't even know my own self. <laughs> With someone with vehicle license plate number XYZ, please report to the search desk. <laughs> like, why do I talk like that? <laughs> yeah, yes, that's exactly how I think we all are. You can go, <laughs> I can go like hollering heels on you real quick in a hurry. <laughs> yeah, and don't make me bring out the Canadian either. Hey. 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 Actually, where say, I'm, you go where I'm, secretary on me, girl. Where, where, <laughs> where I'm from in Canada, we don't actually say a. Uh, so there's not that much French in your blood there, or something. I mean, no. Um, comes from where does the a i whatever it is? Where's it come from? E h is uh, usually e the yeah. 
Yeah. It's from Toronto and that end of Canada, more yeah. or less. I am. I'm from. Not I'm from British Can British Columbia, so you know, we we <laughs> have a lot more of the Queen in us. <laughs> Hi, Sydney. I'm doing great. Thanks for joining. And Patty, I'm about like you too. She says she has accidentitis. If she hears an accident, she's going to pick it up. Yeah. It. I have that. So problem. I think that's why it helps me. I mean, I bet that you guys can tell a difference. It just, I bet you can tell a difference between my voice right now and my voice when I'm making a video alone. Oh, sure. yeah. Because in here, I've got Deb and Renee who don't have a totally different accent. <laughs> so it kind of affects what I'm saying too. <laughs> Yeah, well, y'all don't affect that me one bit, not a little bit. No. Not, not one little bit at all, y'all. Little bit, little bit, bit y'all. You guys are good at faking it. <laughs> Toby always uh, said he could tell when we were getting closer to Alabama when we were driving from the Carolinas because my accent got a little thicker. I know. Right? He was getting uh, And, you know, my family were all my, you know, I never, I didn't grow up around my extended family, just my parents. But when we would go to my extended family's house, who lived in North Georgia, um, you know, in the mountainous areas of North Georgia. <laughs> it, oh, my goodness. I would go up there sometimes in the summertime and spend like a week with my grandmother. And we would go visit her sisters and all these people up in Jasper, Georgia. And, you know, I kid you not, by the time I got home, I was talking like this. And it was <laughs> the craziest thing that my mom and dad or my mom and dad would be like, you know what? You need to stop that. It's not even funny anymore. I'm like, what are you talking about? Oh, no. <laughs> you know, it just <laughs> because they all talk like that there. <laughs> yeah. I lost a little bit of my accent when, with my husband in the military and all this because none of those guys have an accent. That'll do it. That yeah. will. And I think that's what really calmed mine down. Mine used to be a lot worse than it is now. And it has gotten a little worse now that I'm back. Um, but when when I was married to my ex-husband and he was military, um, just being around that because people right. are from everywhere. My husband never had an accent and he was born and raised in the Carolinas. So, But, you know, all the years I knew him, he never had an accent. Too many years in the military. Yep. It'll do it. But you get him home and to his hometown, and he suddenly got an accent. Nope. Oh, well, that's good. Nope. <laughs> he never did. Um, Happy birthday tomorrow for your birthday, Sydney. My birthday's Friday. Yay. Oh, happy birthday, everybody. Yeah. yeah. No. All these September babies. Sydney show. <laughs> it just shows you what our parents were doing. Um, um, Christmas wasn't even year, going uh, there. A little <laughs> bit snowed in out in the south, were they? I don't know what they were doing back around Christmas and New Year's. <laughs> Being snowed in out in the south. <laughs> All of us September babies. I'm an April baby, so. Sissy uh, or October babies. My son. Yeah. My son is October 15th, my youngest, and my oldest is November 17th. Thank you, Deb. I don't know how many of you guys were in here, but Deb Lord, she got me this for my birthday. It came today, and I love it so it's much. So cute. Oh, I got it on my desk. Yeah. Purple and purple you. angels. Oh my. I posed for that. That's actually me. <laughs> <laughs> it's precious moments, and I love precious moments too. So mm. it was perfect. So when she told me it was out for delivery today, and I was like, Well, do I open this or wait until Friday? And she's like, Oh, it's up to you. And then when it came, I was like, do I open this or wait for Friday? She's like, open it. I'm like, okay. Open it. <laughs> didn't, take, didn't take it twice. <laughs> like, I'm not arguing this with you. <laughs> yeah, just open it. Okay, so the cat is ticked off now, and she's sitting on the, uh, the chair beside me with her face with her facing the other way. 
Oh, she's <laughs> mad at you now. Yes. Cat butt. You got cat butt. Yeah. Cat butt. Oh my goodness. Uh, so Dennis, you were an army brat too, huh? Well, I wasn't an army brat, but you were an army brat. It wasn't just your parents or that was in the military. You actually grew up that way. I still haven't figured out why they call them army brats, though. Does anybody know? Oh, no, mean. Kids that get raised in the military because, I mean, my kids, they may have been brats, but it wasn't because I married a soldier. <laughs> <laughs> And I'd be crying out of them quite often. <laughs> Let me drop my pencil. It will never be the same. <laughs> burnt sienna. <laughs> now it's burnt. Yep. Um, broke hey, horse woman. Oh, Renee, you know, you were talking about those, the pencils the new pencils that you gave a review on that were so terrible that had off-center cores yeah. yeah okay uh when i did opened up my derwent artist pencils, no no and i'm putting them all in the bag and all this stuff and i've got four that are off-center oh, oh. No. oh those should not be no. You know, you would think at that price that right. the quality oh, control would be right. right on top of that. That is. Uh, was Are you sending those back? So. Yes, I I'm would not, send those back. I'm not going to mail them back to England. Oh. Yeah. No. Oh. Yeah. Um, send them back on their dime. Oh, I would be on the phone with Derwent saying, uh, That's yeah, what I think I'm going to do. Thank you, Patty. We'll see you later. Thank you for our birthday wishes. You have a good night, too. Thanks, Patty. Patty. Yeah, I'll do it. Thanks a lot, Patty. Patty. You guys uh, have oh, fun yeah. out there. Hey, hon, horse woman, I got a question for you. You say that normal videos are okay, but not live. Has that been going on for a little bit? And is it YouTube videos? Because um, it's like I was telling uh, Janice earlier, Renee streams Saturday. And this was on her internet with her stream yard and it was choppy. And that's what I was texting her about during the video. But then as soon as it went from a live stream to a video, when we finished streaming that video, it was fine. There was no was more choppiness. Fine. And that's what people are saying now is that, um, that we're coming in a little choppy and I don't know what's going on with that. I mean, we had Renee go over to Facebook and look and on Facebook where we're streaming, it's fine. Yeah. Hmm. So it's not StreamYard. It's uh, something to do with with uh, YouTube. Yeah, it's got to be something with YouTube. Kim says it sounds fine on her end. So. Okay. Don't push so hard on the pencil. Pushing all the color in. <laughs> She's making her a country and western song to remind herself. <laughs> oh, yeah. Carry a tea oh, bucket full of buckets. <laughs> I am so heavy handed. Somebody slap me. With what? Kitty kitty. <laughs> <laughs> no, I meant slap you with what? No, 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 no. <laughs> slap you with a wet noodle or something. Oh, good. Here I've got a couple cat. of wet noodles around here somewhere. Cat is now laying on my two-page spread. There you go, darling. There you go. And that's and that's how you you are you know dealing with being heavy-handed. Your cat just <laughs> and lays on it. it says, there okay, now you're not, aren't you? Cat X. The cat access. Can't be heavy handed if I'm laying on it. <laughs> Good baby. Kim says she heard your little beeps too, Renee. <laughs> so, <laughs> coming in clear for her. Yeah, I closed the door so you can't hear it anymore. So if you can, then it's not me. <laughs> I don't hear anything anymore. That must have been terrible for my poor dog's ears, too, because at first I didn't think anything about it. But the way they were acting, it must have really been jacking with her ears. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't even bother my dog 
Shiloh, just, it, it doesn't even phase her. Oh, so Janice, they really did send Prismacolor. So you ordered something else. I thought when you posted that today, I thought you were saying that the Orange Star were actually Prismacolor premieres. So they yeah. did the wrong thing. That's that's awesome. Oh, <laughs> I would cool. I would not complain. No, no, no. neither. <laughs> Definitely not. And and how many Prismacolors did they send? The whole set or? Because, yeah, I wouldn't be complaining. <laughs> Unless you already have, like, three sets like I do, and then I'd be complaining. But I wanted the other ones. <laughs> I already have these ones. <laughs> Only you would do that for a lower quality pencil, Renee. Only you. <laughs> but I already have these ones. Why and don't I like them another, very much. Buy another set of the budget-friendly pencils and rock on. <laughs> yes. Rock on. And then oh. we'd have another giveaway. <laughs> yes. Oh, first colors? Are you crazy? Those are called backups. Um, for what? For when your Prisma colors. Well, I don't know. With you, you rarely use your Prisma, so. Exactly. I've had my Prismas for over a year, and I think I've sharpened them three times. My goodness. Whoa. <laughs> because to get, tell you the truth, when I first got them, I didn't like them. Yeah, I I was kind of iffy too. And it takes it's taken me a long time to be able to lift my hand up a, enough to actually color with them without smashing them into little tiny nubs. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> pulverizing the pencil oh and i was and when i would color with them it quite literally looked like i was coloring with a crayon yep. oh yeah because you're getting way too much wax down and it drove me crazy and the yes thing was, the, the older ones and they changed a lot when it came to prisma colors prisma mm -hmm. colors used to be made by a totally different company even mm -hmm. right company that currently makes them if i'm not mistaken unless it's changed again are you ready for this it's the rubber made company yep yep out of mexico yep yep they're totally different now yeah yeah i had a small set of the old original christmas and different not oh yeah. yeah yeah used them up The thing with the prismas, once you get them to where they begin to look like a crayon, the next day you go back and it's gray. Or it's broken. Oh. That, you know, that's one thing that used to drive me crazy is I would color something. It was absolutely gorgeous. I'd go back to it the next day because I hadn't finished it. Wax and blue. I'd have to go over everything because it was broken. Wax broom, wax Oh, it drove broom. me nuts. It looked, it looked like it was got little fracture lines all through it. It was weird. It go. Hmm. And I didn't know how to deal with it. You know, I, I used to ask my mom about it because she didn't believe me. So I used to have to send her pictures. And it's like, how do I deal with this? But when I first bought her 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 prismas it was two and a half years ago three years ago before they went to mexico so she got a really good set to start with and i got it really um one of the newer sets to start with and yeah i've seen one lady on oh she films she usually doesn't do lives but she, I have seen her do 27 layers mm -hmm. wow. with, Prisma? with Prismas. No uh, 
Yeah. yeah. Now, now I, and now I do that a lot better. Deb is Deb's is I, I have learned how to have a much lighter hand with them. Um, when they, when I first got them very first time I got them, I, I abs I had a small set and I tried them and those sorts of things were happening and I hated them. So I gave them to my mom. And yeah. then when Blix had their little, um, oops, sale oh, yeah, right that was cool <laughs> i missed that i did too i i bought two Actually, sets no, i didn't miss that did i what i said i think i i think i'm the one that pointed it out to you guys on the group and i was like hey look at this i you know i don't know if this is a mistake and i sat there and thought you know and i think i even told you guys i don't want it because i don't use it you know that much or whatever and then I got to thinking, no, I really should. And I went back and they were gone. So, yeah, no, I, I, uh, actually got an email from Blix at like four o'clock in the morning about the sale. So I went to it and I bought them and then they sent me this other email after I'd bought them and said that they weren't going to send them. Oops. And it's yeah. like, are you kidding? Yeah, you are. Yep, they did that to me too. And they sent me two sets because I bought two sets. I bought one set for my mom and one set for me. But when I got them, the one set I had purchased for me, every pencil I picked up was split. Oh. Like all of the woods were split. The the pencils were broken, the woods were split. So I got a hold of Prisma Color themselves. Yeah. And said, look, this is where I bought these. This is my receipt. Here are picture upon picture upon picture of what is going on with these pencils. And they said, don't worry about it. And they sent me a brand new set. Oh. That's crazy. Yeah, they, they wrote to me too and said, that was a mistake. And I said, not my mistake. Exactly. I, you've got my <laughs> money already and you better send me the pencils. Well, yeah, and, and I bought them at like 5.30 in the morning as soon as they went on sale for that price. And I said, look, it's now almost noon. And, you know, I bought those six hours ago. You guys, uh, not my fault, yeah. not my problem. It's not like you guys went oops and then immediately grabbed it and, and got rid of it. No, it's six hours later you're going oops. What did yeah. you sell out? And now you're, you're going, oops, because we're into the good ones. Yeah. Oh, that's and, crazy. Sydney, and that's if you want to come in here with us, honey, just follow that link and come on in here. And we can we can all color together. Yep. And I think that's what, what they did is they had a bunch of old stock. Yep. That they were trying to get rid of really fast. Yep. And it went a lot faster than they expected. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, that's kind of what happens when you have somebody that sees it and they're part of a coloring community and they kind of blast <laughs> it out right? to everybody. Like Boom. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I think that's what it was is, is they had some old stock that they were trying to get rid of and it went a lot faster than they expected it to and ended up selling into new stock. And that's when they went, oops, Ooh. that was a mistake. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, well, guess yeah, what? It's your mistake, all right. Yeah, it's your mistake, not mine. I was like, your mistake was telling me you weren't shipping them. Hello. Mm -hmm. Right. Exactly. I am not finding anything I want to color. I did uh, color a little bit of the Saturday picture. That's cool. That's and I mean, cool. I'm not even sure I never really wanted to color this it's just i kind of wanted to mess with the fine liners and now i'm like oh sydney it's really easy sweetie if you've got as long as you've got like a camera and i'm, I'm assuming you've got a camera set up or even a mic just a mic oh, yeah or even a mic if you just want to be a voice just um Come on. Go to, i'll actually put the link so you can actually click it Yeah, that was that was easier. Just click to make that link that and follow the directions. It's really it's really easy. I mean, yeah, it's it's easy. Is it not easy, Deb? We got you in here. Yes. Yes. Yep, yes. It's easy. Yeah, it is really. 
Once once she got a good clickable link, she's like, oh, yeah, okay, I can do this. Yeah, <laughs> we can do this. Thank you, Deb. Anybody, for anybody watching, if you guys want to hop in, I think we, Renee says we can have like up to 10. So, I mean, we can just yeah. all be here and talk instead of having, you know, to type and talk. And That's that. right. And if there's anyone in chat that I know and I haven't said hello, hello, everyone. I do not have right. that pulled up anywhere where I can read it. So I do apologize. Yeah, she she's only voice activated. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. We can advertise that the only way you get to talk to talk to Mouth is is by voice activation. Join the chat. Yeah, she's only <laughs> voice activated. Hi, Katrina. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't have to show your face, Donna, as you can see. No. I don't no, either. Don't oh, yeah. You don't have to show your face. I mean, no. nope. you can color and, um, you know, or you can just put like you see on your screen for Deb and Mousy because they don't want to show their face. You know, um, there's only so many laws I can break by showing my face, so I don't. Uh, what is that? That is a train. That was scary. That was that was sudden and oh forceful. <laughs> haven't I told you how close the train is? Well, no. so, but that was like really crazy. Um, the, the garage. Close. Um actually <laughs> the train runs less than two feet of well, maybe five feet away from my back fence. Ah let's see if I can. Let's see how, how many it is. <laughs> Hold on a sec, I'll show you. If it if you can see it. No. That's not working very good. Ooh, that's making me dizzy too. I think we're upside <laughs> down. Yeah, you are. See the train? Okay. Hello, choo choo. See that thing moving in the background there? That's my back fence, yeah. and then the train above it. That's crazy. <sighs> but yeah, I'm telling you, the first night that we spent the night here, we hadn't heard the train. We were told that we had it behind us, but we hadn't heard it yet. Uh -oh. <laughs> and. Uh, no big deal. We heard it a couple of times while we were awake. It didn't make much noise. No big deal. Well, when we first moved here, we had no air conditioning. And I have to have cold air on me when I sleep. So my husband opened the bedroom window. <laughs> and then the train went by. <laughs> and I, I swear my husband was hanging from the ceiling. I was going to ask how long it took to scrape y'all off. Uh, it didn't bother me none at all because I, I actually had a train next to my house for uh, quite a while as an adult after my kids were born. So it didn't bother me none at all. My <laughs> husband, on the other hand, <laughs> was hanging from the ceiling pretty good. Whoa, loud sound. I remember an apartment I moved into several, several years ago. I was in my 20s and I did not realize it was literally in the flight path for the um, Atlanta. Oh, no. <laughs> um, oh, airport. Airport. oh, dear Lord. Oh, I'm yeah. telling you. And of course, you know, here we are. And you don't really hear things like that during the day. But like Renee said, you turn that off at night, you know, and you go to bed. Mm -hmm. It's like, poof. It's really loud and it took me forever to get used to that. But then what was so crazy is I had gotten so used to it that then later you missed after it. I, late, well, yeah, later after I moved, I laid in bed like you've got to be kidding me. Because yeah. <laughs> I was so used to that constant coming in and out because we lived like probably probably maybe six or seven miles from the actual airport. So where they were coming in, you know, they start they're coming in for takeoff and landing. You know, it's right in their landing strip zone or whatever so i was just used to having those planes constantly come over yep 
Yeah. And and it's, it's weird because you, you don't you think do. that you, you get used to it like that. And it's like, you do. Oh, no. I got so used to it when I lived there that people would be visiting or something and they would be like, how, you know, how do you sleep with that noise? <laughs> what noise? <laughs> what noise? My yeah, camera. we have we have the same thing here. Um, I'm getting with, frustrated. My camera keeps turning off. With the the train, people say, "How do you sleep with that noise? What noise? <laughs> <laughs> I don't hear a thing." We've got an Air Force a, base a hundred miles from here. Near a train track, and she could tell when there was something wrong with the trains. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> and I'm going. All I hear is, ah, ah. Yep. Because uh, if there's something wrong with the train, it makes a shuddering right. feeling in, in the track. Mm -hmm. Like we had one here that decided that it was going to lose its wheels. And Ooh. it shuddered all the way down the track. Oh, it's... <laughs> At least it doesn't take a long time to restart the camera when it stops. <laughs> that's, that's good. Yeah. Now I'm kind of getting the hang of, oh crap, the camera just stopped. Mm -hmm. And I don't know why it does that, other than maybe it's a quick lax or lag in the internet or I don't know. No. It just says, hey, I'm here and I want to go have a nap. I don't want to be here no more. <laughs> I'm out of coffee. That's its problem. Oh, don't say coffee. <laughs> no, I never want coffee. Would you prefer us to say water or alcohol? Well, yeah. Okay. Coffee with coffee with Bailey's. <laughs> no, we, we were, talk, no. we're talking earlier and. Says, I'm going to get my alcohol markers out and Mousy goes, oh, alcohol is always better. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, no kidding. I prefer alcohol over water too. Yeah, I, I would prefer the train too, Janice, if, if I was living under the, the flight paths of UPS, FedEx, and the oh. Louisville International. Yeah. I'm sure that gets a <laughs> Ooh. That that's a constant, you know, up and down, up and down, up and down to that noise. But you you would think that you'd get used to it pretty quick. I guess it all depends upon uh, how good of insulation you have, too. Well, even if my mail goes to heck, it always has to go through Atlanta. And it's slow. If anyone mails me anything and it comes through Atlanta, it's delayed by at least two days. Even if it's two day priority. Yeah. And what shipper is that? Anybody. The mail. It, oh. Post. Yeah. Oh, I don't like the regular mail at all. I hate the post. But also, I don't like our mailman. <laughs> yeah, I think that's partially my problem with the situation. That's my too. problem. Our mailman has a tendency to throw packages onto our front mm -hmm. step. Mine throws my packages and tries to put the chicken back into the egg at my mailbox. <laughs> I know, right. Oh, yeah, geez. I've seen that too. Yeah. That day when I went out and checked my mail and all I can see, I open it up and all you can see is box. And I'm like, Are you serious? And I start trying to get it out and it won't budge. And I'm like, you have got to be stinking kidding me. I literally had to go into my house and get like a pair of scissors or a knife, go back out there and literally bust that box open just to get it out of my mailbox. And I'm thinking, how did he even yeah. get it in? Because in the back, it doesn't have the lip that you have to get it out of. What do you mean in the back? Well, we have uh, we here. Have we have, I have a regular mailbox. It doesn't. Oh open. well, I don't know how many. <laughs> it's just a door that opens up. It, there is no back. Mine's I know when you said that. Out, I was like, I don't understand that. <laughs> oh damn! 
No, it's just it's just a regular standard mailbox. You open up the door and there's your yeah. mail. That's how they put it in and out. Yeah, ours that that it's a whole bunch of different mailboxes all in one stand, and the back open swings open for the mailman to be able to put all his stuff in, so he doesn't have to open individual mailboxes. Oh, that's oh kind of yeah. Well, my neighbor came out one day, and I was nearly tearing the mailbox off the, <laughs> <laughs> off the post. I wish I could have saw that. <laughs> and she was holding, and so she came over to help hold the mailbox and the post so I could get my package and mails out of there. Jeez. Good Lord. And he must have spent at least 10 minutes making all that. Shoving it in. <laughs> right? I mean, that was my thought. I'm like, I understand. I mean, and, you know, Mousy's told me before she has a, you know, it's not far to her front porch. I understand. It's a nice little, you know, but you're in a car. Come down my driveway. You know, <laughs> it's not that hard. Yeah, I think mine's like, what's the length of a car plus a few feet? You know, like 15, 20 feet to my door. Right, that's crazy. I mean, he yeah. can throw it like he does half the time anyway. Yeah. Right, it's like, why didn't you just throw that? <laughs> yeah. I would even accept it if you threw it right now because, you know, shoving it in there isn't going to help me any. No, and that's that was just frustrating. And I, I kid you not, if I made the kind of money those people make, I would do my job right. Yeah, well, and they... You know, they one of my carriers is enough. excellent. She is great. I mean, she will knock on the door. She will. Yeah. I mean, she's great. And but this one dude, he hates it. <laughs> yeah, I have uh, the same thing. Done that personal with it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh goodness. Yeah. He hates that I get packages. You know, like if if I didn't get packages, you would have no job. Okay. Exactly. Very few people can't see the mail anymore. I am single-handedly keeping our county <laughs> mail people in business. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's been a couple of times I've I've tried to get my packages out of the mailbox and had to cut them open to get them out. Otherwise, I would end up breaking my pencils or whatever. I'll, well, it's yeah. usually pencils. <laughs> oh, my kidding. It's usually pencils. Uh, break my well, pencils in what the process. What I really hate is when, it's, when the weather here in Alabama of the south, and it stays wet, damp, muggy most of the time, and not only does he roll up one coloring book, he doesn't, I mean, he doesn't put them in a stack and, and curl four of them around the other, but he takes each one oh, no. individually and oh, rolls it in no. the newspaper thing. Oh. And oh, that's terrible. If I've been at work all morning and have other things to do and it's, it's just wet and I come home, I have curly oh. color books. Oh, no. That's terrible. They should not be curling coloring books. Yep. Like I said, it's gotten personal now. <laughs> yeah, now it's personal. Yeah, it curled my coloring book. That's right. <laughs> well, used to a coloring book was only, what, two, three bucks, and now they're, what, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. Yeah. A lot of money to spend on something. Yeah, they're getting up there, that's for sure. You know, like the uh, fairy celebrations that you can't even get here anymore are like $35, $40 a bloody book. Yeah. Oh, there, her British Columbia just came out. Yes, it did. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear my roots? Yes. Since, since since we're here in the U.S., though, I'm going to assume that that word's okay. <laughs> what bloody? Yeah, most people in the U.S. don't really know what that means. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> they don't know what it translates to in in, in American. Okay. <laughs> 
Bloody hell, then. <laughs> You've had enough Canadians tell you where how to go there. <laughs> That's our favorite thing. You can go to bloody hell. That's funny. I've never heard Renee say that. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, just ask me to say biscuit. Biscuit. <laughs> say biscuit. What is a biscuit? It's a cookie. Oh, I know that, but say it. What's so funny about it? Biscuit. Biscuit. It's exactly. Cookie. But, but most people my mind that it's a cookie. You know what was so funny? <laughs> it, does... it was kind of hilarious because I do watch a lot of. Um, I watch a lot of YouTube, and you know, and I'm I watch a lot of documentaries, and you know, I watch like real stories and things like that, which actually come from the UK. And one day Gary's walking through the room and I'm watching something and there's this little kid and he keeps asking for biscuits and his mom says something to him. And I can't remember exactly what it was or how it was said, but Gary turns around and looks at me and he goes, is that kid asking for biscuits? <laughs> yeah. And I was like, yeah. He goes, that's kind of a weird thing for a little because this kid's like two or three. So it's a weird thing for a little kid to ask for a biscuit. I said, you know, yeah. a biscuit is a cookie, right? And he's like, what? He's like, no, a biscuit is not a cookie. It's a cookie. <laughs> so it took me a little while to catch on to that, too, like listening and realizing that th there's this biscuit thing that you guys are famous Well, for. It, it took me a long time to um, associate biscuits with baking powder we call them at home we call them baking powder bread really <laughs> so when or baking powder rolls but mm -hmm. when i moved to the states and um started making biscuits and gravy and stuff like that for bob mm -hmm. i'm going the first time he asked me to make biscuits and gravy is like, why would you want me to put gravy on cookies? <laughs> is he American? Yeah, he's from Salem, Oregon. Oh, that's so awesome. Oh, man. I knew earlier, and that's what I thought earlier when you said you told me you were making that. You said you're making biscuits and gravy. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. Um, so what do you guys call? Oh, yeah, I guess you told us. That's really weird to say that. Okay. What? Oh, the biscuits to call them. We call them. Um... Oh, God, my mom's going to shoot me now because my brain just went completely blank. Bread. Yeah, we call them baking powder rolls or baking powder bread. That's weird. Hmm. Baking so... soda rolls or baking soda bread. So or soda all... rolls. Are all cookies biscuits? I mean, in in are, in British uh, Columbia or in in the UK, most biscuits are cookies. Hmm. Well, yeah, but I mean, do you say like a shortbread biscuit? Yeah. Uh, uh, oatmeal raisin biscuit. <laughs> no, because oatmeal raisin are cookies because those are chewy. Oh. Uh. <laughs> So there are cookies in it's the it's the ones that snap that we call biscuits. Okay, yeah. so like animal crackers. Yeah. Um, okay, vanilla wafers. Yeah. Hmm. Though that's what my mom's always called them is you know. So what's the deal with porridge? Isn't that a UK thing too? Yes, and a Canadian thing too. Because I've always called it porridge, not oatmeal. Okay, so it is basically oatmeal. Yeah. But it's there's different levels of it. There's um, different refiner, refineries of it, like uh, hard cracked or basically it's oatmeal. Debs yeah. says that your biscuits are our scones. I didn't think scones were. I thought they were different. Uh oh. I thought a scone yes. was a. No. Um, a scone is basically a baking powder biscuit, but mostly, uh, most of the time it, it has currants or different things in it. It's made the exact same way as a baking powder biscuit. 
I'm confused. I thought in the United States the scone was like a pastry, a sweet pastry. And it can be. Okay. But it's made the same way as a baking powder biscuit, just with sugar and berries and other fruits. Um, like okay. raisins and stuff like that. So Janice says that her brother used to give his grandkids cookies, and so now they call him up oh, grandpa cookie. <laughs> 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 No, it's yeah, I love, you know, I love the similarities and, and, and really seeing the differences in the way things are like in the UK from here. Cause I've, I've learned so much watching these documentaries, you know, apparently, and this is only from what I've seen on documentaries. And I mean, I'm sure Debs can tell me and you can probably tell me too, Renee, but um, it seems, and this, to me, this seems odd. Okay. Everybody just seems to chain smoke in their homes in the UK as if it's not a problem. If people smoke, they smoke in their house. You don't go outside yeah. and smoke. And that's so opposite from, from, I mean, I guess here in the United States, it used to be that way, but you know, now it's like you don't smoke indoors. So it just seems really weird to me to be watching these documentaries and people are just lighting up cigarettes and smoking in their house. I used to smoke in my house. Well, I mean, I did too at one point. But it wasn't until it wasn't until I moved in with Bob, who's allergic to cigarette smoke, that I stopped smoking in the house. Yeah, and, and also you're Canadian, British Columbian. You see, that's kind of shows yeah. exactly what I'm saying. Here in the United States, for many, many years, that's kind of been looked at as not well, it's taboo because you know right. you can you can um, cause different cancers and whatnot to your children with secondhand exactly. smoke. Things. Exactly. And there's also been a big push too because of um, house fires. Pussies. <laughs> you know, so many people, so many people were falling asleep with these and oh, starting yeah. fires and dying yeah. in these fires. So there was a huge push throughout the United States to not smoke in your house. And but it just seems like you know it just seems like it's perfectly normal. And they'll have these people coming in and you know, like, I don't know, the different types of shows. And it just seems odd that when these people come into these homes, you know, they, they don't even bat an eye at it. So, I mean, I don't know. It struck me as weird. Yeah, it was, no. It was just different. And, yeah, you know, many years ago, I smoked, too, in my first apartments and things like that. Um, yeah, now, now it's, you say that you smoke on, on your lease and you don't get your apartment. Exactly. <laughs> so, you know, I, I tried to stop that a long time ago. And, you know, now I vape. You know, I'd like to quit smoking completely. I do vape. And, um, you know, I do vape in my house, though. But, I mean, that's and no. Nowadays, they're, they're saying that's not any good either. So, yeah, you know. You know, they're, they're trying to put uh, huge taxes on vape and huge taxes on tobacco and all that sort of stuff this year. So. I don't even know if I can afford to vape anymore. I can have yeah, my whole stuff. <laughs> the thing, I guess. Um, so are you guys still able to get flavored vape there? Yeah. All right. Because I know a lot of places was banning flavored vape earlier. Yeah. They banned them here for a little while and then they found it was um, not possible. So they dropped that. I know that they banned flavored cigarettes, which really kind of sucked, but... Mm -hmm. Because I I had a, a thing of uh, American cigarettes because I I don't normally don't smoke American cigarettes I don't like the taste of them but they had one brown brand called Dreams and they were cherry and vanilla and chocolate and there was another one and they were really nice and then they turned them into cigar cigar uh, cigars cigars cigarillos. Oh. And then they went terrible. <laughs> they they started using the cigar or the pipe tobacco instead of the um, cigarette tobacco. Right. Because you can't have flavored cigarettes. And then called them cigars. And, oh, they were just horrible. That's crazy. I don't know. And something else I noticed that was kind of neat was that... Um, Okay, Deb says you're not allowed to smoke in the car if you have a child under 10, she thinks. Okay. Yeah, it's actually against the law here. Um, 
You'll get a fine or a ticket. Or something. Smoke outdoors or indoors, just whichever. Okay, got it. And something else I kind of noticed, and this could just be like the types of shows I'm watching, but, you know, homes don't seem as big in the UK as they do in the United States. You know, it seems like the homes seem to be made much smaller and people well, are living in a much more cramped area than here. Yeah, they're, they're smaller, but they're not smaller. They have a lot of small rooms in a large house. Okay. Because small rooms are easier to heat than large rooms. You know, so you have a parlor, you have a living room, you have a kitchen, you have a dining room, you have a kitchen nook, you have a butler's pantry, you have, a, you know, a sitting room in, you know, before you go into your bedroom, you, you know, that sort of serious? thing. Serious? Oh my. Yeah. Yeah. You know, most bedrooms, as far as I know, from what I've seen of, of England, most bedrooms are quite literally big enough to hold your bed and walk around it. It's a sitting room before you get to your bedroom. That's neat. Yeah. American houses are much like the rooms are way bigger. Debs. It, um, a friend of mine in the UK, she lives in a house, the same size as my house, but there's so many different little rooms that it looks really tiny. You know, there's a lot more bigger open spaces in the U.S. and in U.S. houses compared to British houses. Same with Canadian houses. Canadian houses went to the American styling back when I was a kid. That's really neat. I just, I mean, I like seeing those different types of things. Um, you know, last year I got to figure out what figgy pudding was. and I don't think I would like it. It's actually pretty good. Same with uh, bread pudding and that sort of thing. But you know, I like bread pudding. I don't like bread pudding. Really? I don't like squishy bread. <laughs> I really don't. I don't like soggy bread at all. I don't either. Squishy yeah. I think it's really neat some of the things that they don't have in the UK that like, they have in America too. Cause I've watched some shows where it'll have like, like one show I watched in particular was where um, an American person or family switch places with a British person or family. Mm -hmm. And the people from the U S got to Britain and they're kind of like, you know, okay, this is weird. And then, you know, the people would come from Britain here and it would be just simple things like, what is it? You guys don't do peanut butter and jelly together, maybe, or something like that. Okay. It was something really, I guess that's an American thing. And a lot of these people from Britain had never heard of putting peanut butter and jelly together. Yeah, we put peanut butter and jelly together in Canada. I'll be right back. Yeah, the air conditioning isn't, isn't, uh, a huge thing in the UK. And it probably doesn't have to have to be because isn't it kind of dreary there most of the time and a little cooler than like the weather we have here? Or am I completely misinformed on that? Cool. You know, here in the South, like where me and Mousy are, I don't know that you could survive without AC. Um, we did, I did as a kid, the house I grew up in, we had a window unit, but that's all we had. Um, and, and we did okay with that, but I don't know if, you know, ozone depletion or global warming or whatever has went on, but I swear it's hotter <laughs> than it used to be here. And I don't know that I could do without AC anymore. It's, that's just... But here, even in the United States and a lot of the northern states, um, I have a friend who lives in Michigan and they don't have um, AC in, in her house there. And she does OK with that. My ex-husband's family is from Wyoming in the mountains of Wyoming, and they only have air conditioning on the bottom floor, um, not upstairs. And, you know, you just kind of if you want to you crack a window. Um, 
you know, when you sleep. And they seem okay with that, but I don't know that I could do that here in the South because it's just, it's just scorching hot. It's crazy. See, that's what I think too, Janice. It's hotter now. And I don't, I don't know. I mean, do you think that's got anything to do with, I mean, what is it? Is it, is it global warming? Is it all of the Aquanet hairspray that we used in the eighties? I mean, what, <laughs> what has happened? More cows burping. Um, <laughs> for so long I had my neighbor phoned, so had that to do oh, with. you're back. I didn't even know you were gone. <laughs> I did. You're not talking. I do too. I just <laughs> muted. Yeah, Janice. Janice thinks it's climate change. I don't know. It's something. But I can attest to that. I was telling them. Um, some, they were talking about like in the UK Deb, that they don't have air conditioning, and I was like, you know, there's a lot of people like in Michigan. I've got a friend doesn't have AC at all. She does fine. And my ex husband's family in my Wyoming had downstairs AC, not upstairs AC. I was like, but I promise you, here in the South, you can't live without it. She's still not talking. Are you back, Deb? She's back. No, I don't think she was back back yet. I think it has something to do with that Aquanet hairspray I used as a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> They told us that stuff was going to be damaging, and I only knew. <laughs> no telling what the dinosaurs thought when all of their weather changed. <laughs> Kim says she's got to have her AC, and she's in Michigan. Yeah, I'm yeah. trying to remember where my friend exactly is from in Michigan. Kim, is it you that's from Holland? Because if it's not you, then it's her. I know it's either you or her. One of you are in Holland, Michigan. So if it's not you, it's her. Um, well, it's I used not to me. live in Holland. <laughs> Holland, Michigan is beautiful. They don't need air there. They're right off the lake. It stays pretty nice. Okay, it's not Kim that's in Holland. So yeah, it's it's my friend Suzanne that's in Holland, Michigan. Yeah. And they don't have AC in her house. And oh my I, gosh. I need AC. I need AC. She complains mm -hmm. about it sometimes in the summer. She'll complain a little bit about the heat, but yeah. I don't know how people deal with all the traffic and stuff in, in large cities. Like, I just, I watch every once in a while, watch people driving around in New York and stuff like that. And it's like, oh my God, how do you do that? Don't come to Atlanta or even Atlanta Metro. The traffic's terrible. Do you know what we say here? Atlanta is one hour from Atlanta. <laughs> 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 and it's true it is true I mean it's getting that bad even where I'm at and I'm considered metro Atlanta now and I mean the traffic has just gotten absolutely horrendous yeah no I'm, I'm okay with with a little bit of traffic and I've, I've gotten pretty used to dr driving in the U.S compared to, to BC, but uh, it scared the heck out of me for the longest time. I don't like traffic. That's pe that's peopling with a vehicle. Ah, that's <laughs> right. I don't that's like true. People. I don't people well. I don't yeah. people well either. Oh, that's <laughs> me too. I don't people well. Yeah, no. In also, you know, converting everything from kilometers to miles was really difficult for me when I first moved here, too. So, Oh, I bet it was. And do you know something that really is driving me crazy? Everywhere here is popping up with, um, what do they call roundabouts? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, you know, the first time I ever heard of a roundabout was something to do with Britain. <laughs> and I had never encountered them. And um, in the military town I was living in before I moved home, 
in their downtown, they had like a little, literally a real roundabout. And that was the first time I'd ever encountered one. I was so nervous. And, um, military now, now they're popping up they, they're preferring it over four-way stops at most of these intersections that they're building now so they're yes. popping up all over this county and um it's it's insane of course i think they call them traffic circles but they're roundabouts they're roundabouts yeah and i always went the wrong way on the roundabout <laughs> oh my goodness and i'm not even gonna oh my gosh did you see my post on facebook deb mousy which what the one that said, let me tell you how much I trust people. I look both ways at the roundabout. There you yeah. go. <laughs> well, and then she goes, I go the wrong way. And that's because <laughs> of people like me. <laughs> and my husband would, all, he would he would say, no, I'd say, you want me to drive today? No. No. <laughs> he said, I don't want to end up in, <laughs> don't want to end up in jail. Gary doesn't, Gary doesn't like my driving much either. Just stay right. Just stay right. Yeah. But then I'm going Welcome back, to circle. I can't get out. He uh, Welcome back, Sydney. Yeah, the, the town that I live in, it's, uh, I think... I think last count, it was something like 3,500 people. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You've got me curious. I've got to look. Um, That's about how many people live. Let's see. Yeah, we've got about 30,000 in the county and maybe 3,000 in the city limits. You guys want to hear how many people are currently, as of well, as of 2019, living no. in my county? No, that's it's. It'll give me the heebie-jeebies. Go ahead. 234,561. Oh. Oh. Wow. <laughs> no. Yeah, that's that's insane. Let me see about the little town I live in. What? The only <laughs> thing is, you know, you have there is 7,211 people in this little town that I live in. <laughs> Kim only has 178 people in town. Oh, I wish. Oh. Hi, Purple Passion. Oh, that's all right. 40,000 in your county. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, my whole 234,000. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh. I don't know how many is in the county because the county takes over half of Salem and, and, and other little towns. So I just did a quick Google search. <laughs> I was like, oh no. I don't think I, I want to know. You know, Gary's always telling me that we've, and actually, I don't know if he realizes, he's, he's just always telling me we've got over 200,000. So I, I knew it was up there. And I'm pretty sure that was 2019. I'm pretty sure by the time 2020, that comes in because we're like one of the fastest growing counties in the nation. It's insane. So in Marion County, which is the county I live in, there's 358,170 people. Oh, goodness. This year. There's just getting to be too many people. Just too many people. But like I said, Marion County is huge. It takes up like half of Salem, if not all of Salem. Um, down here into Jefferson and and up into, you know, halfway to Portland. So we lost you on camera, Renee. Did you? Bummer. <laughs> <laughs> you resemble a cutting map. It is She's a in Alberta, map. Canada. Purple passion. You're in Alberta. Yeah, I'm from BC, so let the rivalry start. No, <laughs> my best friend actually lives in Alberta. I'm not even going to pretend I understand that joke. Is British Columbia, is it kind of like that's part of the... Um, British Columbia and Alberta have a, a share of border. All right, guys. 
You guys still see my camera. That's what's so funny. It's got my red light on saying my camera's not working, but I see that it yeah, is. Yeah, it's working just fine. Weird. Yeah, no, BC and Alberta share a border and have a couple of rivalries uh, between hockey teams and stuff like that. Uh, Not that I watch hockey, but. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't know anything about hockey. I used to play it. I don't watch it. <laughs> I, I don't have a clue. All I know is a bunch of people running around hitting the ball and. <laughs> No, ice skates. Oh, not a bar. Oh, okay. well, yeah. It's it's, it's even worse. We have ice sticks ice. and ice skates. <laughs> we have but blades you know, on our feet and we have sticks. <laughs> it blew my mind several years ago when Atlanta got a hockey team. I was like, what? <laughs> I'm like, why are you even doing that? Does, that doesn't even make sense, you know? Yeah. That's what I was going to do. I don't even know if we still have a hockey team now. But. Oh my, Jana, 7,606. 7, I can't even say it. Yeah. Louisville is quite quite large. Over 70, 750,000 people. Mm. Yeah, in Louisville. Mm. What book is that, Renee? Uh, it's my colored book. <laughs> These are all pictures I've colored. <laughs> oh, it's her colored book. Yes, thank you, dear. I was wondering about the cats. Is what I was looking. Oh, for. which which one? Yeah, and the mouse. I see a mouse. But anyway. Oh, this one. Uh, yes. This is actually a picture drawn. Uh, a set of pictures drawn by a local artist here in Oregon. Very cool. Um, I did a coloring class with them. Those are good job. Those are mine, and these ones are the ones done by the artist. I always, uh, notice, I always notice cats and mouse mouses. So. Yeah, let's see if I can zoom this out a bit. Maybe. These ones are drawn and colored by the artist. Pretty. And this one is me. It's pretty too. I like yours best. Well, mine's kind of finished. Hers is. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I'm sucking up or anything. But no, no, I did a. Um, up, we know. <laughs> for ten dollars, you can go into the studio with with the artist and and sit there and do color alongs. Oh, that's really neat. So I did that last last October and then COVID hit. I'm back. <laughs> These are just all things I've colored. I was trying to get to a book that I have hidden in here. This is Molly Harrison. Yep. Yeah, have to no do an Alice jump and and, and these are just all things I've colored this year <laughs> since last oh, October. I haven't even uh, I haven't even finished. No, I haven't even colored fifty days this year, much less pictures. I think I've done a hundred and sixty. I think was the last count. Well, two. I have way too much time on my hands, actually, after this book. I spread myself too thin. This is another one of the Coloring Haven ones that I bought. Uh, Wonderland special. I like that. What do I have hidden in here? I take all my books apart, and then I put them in the sleeves because I scan them into my computer because I like them on the cardstock instead of some coloring book paper. Yes. Some, some coloring, coloring book paper I like and some I just don't like. The ones uh, from Christine Caron, her paper is just so nice. I like it too. Mm. 
but I was thinking I should, because I've colored the entire picture that I was working on with the different colored pencils, I should find another one that has lots of little things that I can continue my hoard, color pencil hoard. Renee Deb C says that you did fabulous work and Kim says she does the same with her color pic pictures. <laughs> cool. Thank you. Yep. That's a good idea. Yeah. I put them in these plastic sleeves. Yeah. You know, one on top of each other and so you can see them. And, but I was thinking that this little picture would be perfect for my color pencil board. Continuation. So I wanted to pull that out. How long do you think it's going to take you to complete that series? <laughs> well, this page won't do it. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, you, are you going to finish it before the end of the year? Do you think? I mean, I'm being serious. Oh, no. <laughs> no? <laughs> no. Oh, goodness. Well, let's see. I've done up to D. So I've up done up to. <laughs> yeah, I've done up to D. Up to D. I haven't got any Durants yet, so I might have to revisit D. <laughs> so let's see. I love my Durant. My Dur Durant. I love my Durant. Durant. Of all. So I've got one. They stay on the Two, phone. three, four, five. Worst pencils I have ever had that I could never, ever Seven, develop any kind eight, of liking for. Nine. Was the Spectrum Noir. Oh, those are terrible. I've never used Ten. any Spectrum Noir you know, uh, pencils, but I'll tell you this: I don't, I don't really like their markers. Do not waste your money on pencil. I got the whole set. Just had to. Gotta be a bit. See, I love their markers. I love Spectrum markers. But, and I thought, I, you know, the, the pencils have got to be good, right? <laughs> I've got 13 more sets to go through. So I might make it. Maybe. <laughs> I think it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's awesome. And, and I shouldn't laugh. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. Oh, shouldn't laugh. <laughs> Can we talk about markers now? <laughs> I know. That's why I'm like, I really shouldn't laugh. Gel pins. But I don't know. I haven't even no, started on markers or gel pins. Yeah, we're not even talking about that. But honestly, she's got me beat on markers because... I have those Spectrum New York basics that I got and those are okay. I just don't like their illustrators because you t pop the top off. I've tried them in stores. You know, you pop it and the thing comes apart in my hands. I don't like that. So I do still have some of my Spectrum New York basics. They're starting to go dry now. So, um, yeah, so I've got those and I've got my Cali Arts, my Ohuhu's, um, Arteza's, uh, Prisma, Windsor Newton, Art and Fly, Copic. Um, I forgot my Art and Flies. Where are they? <laughs> <laughs> I know where all my stuff is, though. <laughs> I mean, it can only I be don't, in this I, mean. I, haven't used, I haven't even seen them in so long. I love my Art and Flies. Deb, okay, let me see. My Art and Flies. <laughs> Hold on, we got some news here. We got some news. Purple Passion pre-ordered Johanna Basford's mini secret garden book that comes out in October. Is that the new book she keeps talking about? Because if it is, I'm disappointed. She made it sound like she was doing a full book. Is that the one that's got like the little houses and stuff in it? Or because I've been waiting to get some kind of an announcement on that book release. Um, did, she March just do, of, did she just do the one that teaches you how to draw or something that was yeah. last year and I, I didn't even get that book i didn't either i mean of course i don't buy her books anymore i, I no but uh yeah i've heard that she's coming out with a new one but i'm not sure of the content yeah well this was this was my thought on that last book of hers um, it, what was it called something about 
how to draw inky wonderlands and i'm thinking um that's your job <laughs> it's my job to color them it's your job to draw them sorry <laughs> stop trying to get off easy <laughs> 15 dollars a coloring book she can keep drawing herself yeah i only have six sets of markers but you know what though deb mousy mm -hmm. i i actually do like her books <laughs> i have another set well, not anymore seven is that because they're double-sided or you just really don't like them because of the price or because I've seen too many of them colored because I had every book that she had. And by the time every, I went back in and started coloring something, if somebody else had already done it online, I uh, so it just kind of lost its oomph for you. And they just, they just don't appeal. They're a little bit, I don't know. They just don't appeal to me anymore. I gave almost all mine away. Gotcha. Got the artist edition. Yeah, that artist edition is actually kind of cool. I got Secret Garden Artist Edition. I don't have the Lost Ocean one. I think that's the only two that she did artist editions for. But and I want to. Uh, I would love to get my ink tints in the O2 into that. Yeah, yeah. And I've got ink tints and I don't know how to use them. So you're gonna have to definitely get a camera facing downwards because I want you to teach me how to ink tints and see you can do it. Because beeping up here printer was driving your dogs crazy that was so funny Bob oh goodness my poor dogs were going they were just having a conniption yeah well girls it's after seven o'clock my time I've got to start getting things ready for in the morning I get really? around 4 45 we've only been streaming for two hours oh I know <laughs> I mean, I kid you not, last Friday or whatever when we did this, Friday before last, it, it was a four-hour stream. Well, I may pop back in later then if it was awesome. ASMR doesn't put me to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, ladies. Good night. I, I, All right, Deb. Thank you for joining us. Had a great time. See you girls later. Yes, Thanks, bye. -bye. I've seen the sweet shop and the uh, curiosity shop ones, but I haven't bought them yet. I sent mine to Deb. Didn't you get my curiosity shop, Deb? Yep. Yeah, that's what I thought. I mean, it looked great in the store. And then I was kind of like, meh, after I got home, never colored in it. And I was going to get rid of a bunch of books. So I sent pictures to Deb. And she's like, oh, I want that one. So I was like, oh, you got it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the only one I've ever bought is the Christmas book, and I gave it to my mom. <laughs> this one I like because it's lots of little pictures. So it, the um, Flourish book is a, is a lot of smaller pictures. Yeah, so that's that little printable really book. Yeah. So they're really simple to do quickly, so I like that. And I like the fact that they're, they're small enough that that I can do them quickly, but still use lots of different colors in them. All right, guys, I'm going to send this link out again. You guys saw that Deb left and now we've, we're, I mean, we can hold up to 10. So, I mean, somebody else that wants to jump in by all means, there's the link. Just click it. Follow the directions. I was thinking of doing this sort of thing um, in my, my color alongs for my color classes for, uh, you know, that way, if people had questions and I was concentrating on the picture I was coloring, it might make it simpler. To let people uh, into the stream. Yeah. For people and that'll that work great. Uh, but, you know, once you really get people who see what you're doing and they fall in love with it, you're going to end up with a lot more than 10 people. <laughs> I hope. I mean, I hope we all end up with lots more. But, yeah. You know, but, you know, it, it can be you know, 10 people at, at a time. And um, there, there's a new Kirby Roseanne's coming out March, 2021. Is it a real up. new book? Yes. It's, um, oh, what is it called? Uh, it's a like world within worlds, but it's um, all different things that are extinct 
or going extinct. Oh, wow. And it's coming out in 2021. Let me see if I bookmarked it. Uh, I think it's actually on Amazon for pre-order. Yeah, I had kind of looked for um, Joanna's book like that. I didn't see it the last time I looked. I need to double check. And I heard, oh, listen to this too. Hannah Carlson's coming out with a new book. I think it's Hannah Carlson. But, and it's like, it may even be out now, but not in the U.S. And it doesn't say anything about a U.S. launch later. I'm oh, broken hearted. No. I am broken hearted. It's called Gold Something. Huh. I don't know why they do that. They, you know, um, well, they're not United States artists. They're releasing in the yeah. UK. You know, they're releasing in Europe where, you know, they are. And it, it's, it may be more expensive, but, you know, because those artists are actually, those are real, real books. You know, they're not, yeah. they're not like, you know, artists that can just upload to Amazon, Amazon prints it and sends it to us. But it's called it Fragile World. Fragile World. That's Kirby's. Yeah. Cool. And you can pre-order it for $15 on Amazon. But it doesn't come out until March 16th of next year. That's still a little bit of a wait. Yeah. And I don't even want to talk about all the things that could go wrong between now and then. Yeah. <laughs> I it's think, uh, I think fragile. Seen that with 2020. <laughs> The, the description is Fragile World is a coloring book to savor exploring 56 endangered, vulnerable, and threatened animals and landscapes. Wow. Purple Passion's coming in. Hello, Purple. Hey. Hello. Hey, Purple. Can you hear me? Welcome. welcome. Yes, yep. we can. Can you hear us? Uh, yeah, this is the first time I've ever done this. Eh, we won't bite hard. No. <laughs> We might nibble a little. We're just sitting here chit chatting. Yeah, right now I'm coloring in. My husband walks fast and says, liar. <laughs> what are you coloring in, sweetie? Uh, fantastic Cities, um, the postcards, but I also have um, both of his other books, the big books. And fantastic. who is that? Uh, Kirby. Kirby. The one with the structures I just got last week. Oh, cool. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Neat, neat, neat. I got too many books. <laughs> oh, there is never too many books. My husband well, called this order because I probably got well over a hundred now. <laughs> that that's all. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm, okay. embarrassed. I'm embarrassed at the number of books that I have, especially seeing as I've thrown away like three boxes. Well, not thrown away. I gave them to my daughter-in-law and, and let Deb pick through them and things like that. But oh my goodness. But you know, when I first started coloring, I got into this whole, oh, it's coloring book. I want it. Oh, it's coloring book. I want it. Oh, it's coloring book. I want it. <laughs> And, you know, I was going to places like um, it was back when all the Dollar Generals had you know, $3 coloring books and they were decent coloring books and always had them for 99 cents. And, you know, I just, oh, I went, <laughs> at one point I know I had over 300 books. Wow. <laughs> and that it was, it was getting pretty crazy. And, um, you know, I had to kind of like dwindle that down and I don't have that many now. And thank goodness I have a lot of PDFs because, yeah. you know, that way, I mean, I don't have to like store those. Yep. But yeah, it's pretty crazy. Hi, Darren. Have, I just buy the books because I don't have a printer. Yeah, and you know, that's the problem I'm running into right now is my printer hasn't been doing really well. And so I haven't printed a lot in a long, I haven't printed any really in a while. Yeah, I, I just, I have issues with uh, some coloring book paper, so... I, and I've just learned to deal. Yeah. You know, I've, I've found what works on what paper and that's what I use. And, and so. that's one of the reasons why I have so many different sets of pencils, because, you know, after a while you get, 
get to a point of, okay, well, this set of pencils works on this paper. So that, you know, I need, I'll use this for this book. And then you go on to the next book and it doesn't work on that book. So then you got to try a different set of pencils. <laughs> so, yeah. It, my, my pencil addiction started early. <laughs> Now I buy them just because they're pretty. <laughs> uh oh. I've been coming since about 2016. Yeah, I've That's only been cool. coloring for a year. <laughs> Are you serious, well, Renee? Two years. Two years now. Well, I was going to say, it had to have been longer than that. No, two years this year. Yeah, I started coloring in 2015. So, towards the. Well, actually, no, you might as well say 2016 because. Um, I bought my first coloring book in December of 2015. Yeah. So, yeah. And I started in November of not last year, the year before. Okay. Ouch. Yeah. That's, uh, that's not good for, for it to be going through ink like that, Janice. No way. That's terrible. I have trouble with mine though. If I print and then try to color on it or use markers, then I get the black starts coming off the ink. It's so annoying. Yeah, I always print it and leave it for a little bit before I color on it. But I've this, little, that. this little HP that the school sent me is fantastic for printing my coloring pages. Oh, look. Yeah, her child's homeschool, they send him a printer every year. So every year she's getting a new printer. So they didn't send it for him this year because I told him not to uh, send a computer or a printer because he already had one. Oh, and he cool. doesn't like the laptop, but it, they'll send me one if I ask for a laptop. And, you know, if this fire situation keeps going and whatnot, we might have to do that. So, yeah. Can I share something that isn't color related? Yes. I'm happy. Um, I'm waiting on a new grandchild. Yay! Oh, congratulations. Due September 17th, so any day now. She, has a she can't have her until the 18th. I'm sorry, that's my birthday. Cross her legs. <laughs> is this a first grandchild? No, this is her fourth. Oh, wow. Yeah. We told That's her no more. <laughs> Put a penny between her knees. Yeah. I want I want to start doing the, the grandchild thing. Um, my daughter-in-laws both have, have some issues. One has PCOS, the other one has endometriosis, and they haven't been able to successfully conceive, but you know, we're, we're hopeful, mm -hmm. you know, we're hopeful, but you know, I'm really excited um, about the prospect of getting to do that. And I can't imagine how it feels. Cause I think I would be just mm -hmm. absolutely over the moon excited. Mm. Yeah. That's going to nope. be so cool. Mine aren't old enough. <laughs> oh yeah, they are. No, they're not. They are. <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> Biologically, yeah, they are. <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> Mama's just not ready. Well, my oldest is is old enough, but it, uh, you have to have a girlfriend for that. My daughter, the one that's having her baby, her birthday is on um, New Year's Eve, December thirty first. <laughs> I bet I can when she conceived this baby. <laughs> <laughs> My youngest is born on Thanksgiving, and my grandson was born on St. Patrick's Day. Now, Canadian Thanksgiving is in October, just yeah. so you know. Yeah, yeah. I know, because yeah, my, my youngest son was born on Thanksgiving, too. Yeah. Okay, so you're in Canada. Oh, yeah, you're in Alberta. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just wanted to let the Americans know that we're talking October, not November. Uh, it's not the third November, our third Thursday yeah. in November in Canada. Yeah, no. it's getting cold here now. That's crazy. Yeah, um, my friend out in 
Oh, and Alberta said that uh, one minute it was really, really warm, and the next minute it started to snow. Oh, really? <laughs> and she's just down from Edmonton. Oh? Yeah, she's in uh, Beaumont. Beaumont. Yeah, that's not far. Yeah, she said it was really warm one minute, and the next thing she knows, she looked outside, and it was starting to snow. Yeah. It's like I, I said, are you sure it's snow and not just ash coming up from down here? <laughs> she yeah. said, keep it to yourself. <laughs> I can't imagine what you guys are dealing with, with all that ash. When I was down in South Georgia several years ago, there was um, a fire that had kind of gotten out of control in Florida. Mm -hmm. And we had some of the ash and stuff from that. And, you know, I'd wake up in the mornings and there would be like ash on the windshield of my car. Yeah. But to see the pictures that you're posting, it's just, it's so much worse. You know, those orange skies and oh yeah, all of that. That's just, it's crazy. All day long in a perpetual sunrise situation that the air is all yellow. It, it absolutely looks like it's constantly sunrise. Goodness. Yeah, I don't know that I could deal with that. Messes with your internal clock. Kim's got a birthday. Our, uh, her son's birthday is Halloween. Yay. Wow. Deb says her grandson's three. Yes, they grew up way too fast. Mm -hmm. I know I blinked and my kids were just like, Phew. gone. Not babies anymore. Yeah. My son was born on the 15th of October in 2004. I like that yellow, Donna. It pops, doesn't it? That's what I was just looking at. I was like, oh, my goodness. I kind of looked up at the screen, and I was like, goodness gracious, that pops. Yeah, that's really great. That's a nice one. I was kind of debating actually putting it in these just when I saw how much it was popping. I was like, I don't know. I may actually, I guess that's just the fluorescent yellow. Yeah. Well, that is, yeah, right. Darcy's grandson's going to be five in January. Goodness. Well, ladies, I adore you bunches, but I'm going to run. I got a fold some laundry and get uh, supper done here. It is uh, 5.30, so people are starting to look at me funny. Oh, goodness. You made biscuits and gravy for lunch. Your husband's so lucky. Yep. Yeah, when you told me that, I lunch. kind of figured you were just going ahead and making a meal for the evening. No, that, that was for lunch. Well, brunch, actually. It was breakfast lunch. Oh, my. Yeah, I better go, too. I got to let my little puppy out. She's Kind of dancing now in front of me. Oh, what, what kind of puppy do you have? I'll, I'll still be in the thing, but I got to go let her out. So I'll uh, okay. just head on. Okay. Yeah, All I'm right. about to have to let mine back in. So um, it was nice. It was nice chatting with you guys. Good it was chat. nice meeting you. And, you know, we're gonna start doing this a lot more often. And I hopefully, you know, people won't be shy and they'll actually pop in, so we can all, you know, like chat in real time. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I, I get worried that I don't know if they get charged for this too, eh? No, nope, so. nope, not at all. Yeah. No, nope, it's mm -hmm. all should be included in your internet. Yeah, it's all, it's bandwidth. It's not uh, long distance charges. Nope. I know, like, I have a my coloring friend from Texas. Um, we've been friends for a couple of years now, and, and uh, she talks to me every day, you know, mm -hmm. and she'll yeah. talk to me hours yep yeah and we just sit in color yep yeah go eat first. <laughs> mm -hmm. Bye, Debs. thank you okay Bye. see you guys bye passion take care of yourself take care you passion. good luck let okay. us know about that baby she's got oh she said she would still be in chat let us know when she yeah. has the baby <laughs> all right ladies we will talk again soon. I'm going to run off and, and cook these people some food. I have to figure out what I'm going to cook these people some food with. <laughs> well, it's been so smoky here that it's just not 
possible for me to go outside. So I haven't gone grocery shopping this month yet. So <laughs> it's starting to get down to the, down to the nitty gritty. Well, that and I have children in my house that seem to think that, you know, food grows on trees and, you know, they can eat it whenever they want to. I hear you. <laughs> Whether I want them to or not. Sounds like kids to me. Yeah, pretty much. Three All weeks. Right. Wow. Three weeks. Oh. That's just Three a weeks. baby. Oh, I love babies. Oh, you need to post some pictures oh. over in the group because I want to see that baby. Homemade chicken fajitas. That sounds good. Oh, yummy. That is a possibility, Janice. I might steal that idea. <laughs> All right. I will talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for, for running this and, and having me along. Um, it's starting to look really pretty. I, I just can't seem to get into color in today for some reason. <laughs> That's fine. Thanks, Renee. I'll see you later, sweetie. Yep. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye now. Bye. Now if I can remember how to get out of this. <laughs> That was so funny. If I can remember how to get out of this. Oh, goodness. I sent the link back out for anybody else that wants to join. I think I'm going to try to finish this mandala up and before I close out the stream. So I'll be here for a little bit longer. Of course, if Deb runs out on me, I may be like, okay, no, I got to go. <laughs> Unless somebody comes in here to talk to me. <laughs> Uh, Renee sent a message on Facebook and she said, uh, I had to remember how to get out of there without closing a stream. <laughs> oh boy. Yep. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> uh, it was not that big of a deal. We were only like, what was it? Five minutes in or something like that. So yeah, it was easy, easy, cheesy to recover from. <laughs> so I don't think this is finally starting to come together when I first started this I was kind of like oh this is looking like crap <laughs> oh it's looking good it's been neat to just be able to sit here and chit chat and color 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 oh Janice I know what you feel like sweetie her son's 35 she doesn't have any grandkids yet Mine aren't that old, my kids. Um, my oldest is 20. Oh, if I get this wrong, he's going to hate me. <laughs> 27, I think. <laughs> Pretty sure. And Jordan is 22, I think think 23 but they're both married um they both really want kids their wives really really want kids and michael's wife is is like you know she struggles a lot yeah because she wants the kids so bad they've already been through a couple of rounds of um infer infertility treatments and that didn't really work out. So it's been tough, but I'm hoping, you know, and she gets real upset when people say, well, when it's, when, when it's the right time. And she's like, you know, come on people for real. So I don't know. And I, I try my best to remember when I'm around her, not to make comments about wanting grandkids or anything like that. You know, sometimes things slip out when we're, you know, we're all out to dinner or something. And there's these little babies. I'm like, oh, I so need one of those. And then I, I catch myself because I'm like, stop, don't say that. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, goodness. So nobody else wants to come in here with us because I think Deb's just tired of chatting. She's being so <laughs> got nothing to say, I guess. 
I think it's something to say. Oh, Kim, that's too bad. Hmm. Okay. Um. Come on out of here, <laughs> pen. <laughs> I'm telling you, these pens are a pain in the butt. <laughs> Get these in and out. out. <laughs> Tainer. Oh, too bad because they had the right idea with it. Hey DJ, um, just a visa, right? That's cool. And I mean, if you want to, you can click on that link and actually come in with us if you just want to chat a little or something. Come on in. Water's fine. Yeah. I'm not gonna be here much longer. I'm almost finished with this mandala, but of course, you guys get me chatting about something and. We might make this a four-hour stream. Yeah, <laughs> we've done it before. With, yeah, it's not. I know Corey said she would have came in and talked with us, but she didn't get off work until 8.30, and it's only 8.44, so. Oh, yeah, she won't make it. That's too bad. Yeah. That would have been neat. You can tell I'm getting tired because I'm so over it. It's like I'm just going yeah. over this real fast. You say I think you're tired. Yep. Yeah. You can tell when I start like wearing down from coloring. I'm like, oh. <laughs> and this was like a lot of stinking detail. I plan to use mostly fine liners, <laughs> but Ooh. I gave up on that pretty fast. Nice colors in that. Yeah. I mean, it does have a pretty decent. Yeah. Selection for sure. Oh, Kim, okay. you'd be okay. <laughs> you'd be fine, Kim. Deb says it's almost two o'clock in the UK. Whoa, really? No wonder I'm tired. <laughs> you know, it's get you too. I could stay up super late at night and I was fine. Do you know now if I stay up really late at night, when I wake up in the morning, I kid you not, it feels like I've had a bender at a bar. I mean, just from going to bed late, it feels like I have a hangover the next day. It's horrible. I feel literally sick. Huh. And it's, That's I don't understand thing. that. It's weird. Oh, come out, come out. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's an awesome concept, but they need some it kind is. of, uh, they need something, some way, kind of like, you know, the Faber Castells does that kind of pulls yep. out a little. The little ribbons on it. Uh huh. That's the one thing that this, Definitely needs. Oh, Debs, I hear you. Uh, I'm allergic to sleep lately, I swear. <laughs> I'm the same way. Yeah. It's bad. You know, I'll lay in bed forever and finally go to sleep and then... I still wake up like buku's of times during the night. And lately I've had some really weird dreams too. Hmm. I don't remember my dreams, but that's probably because I'm not sleeping. <laughs> I probably don't have any. I literally the other day did not sleep at all. I, it was five o'clock in the morning and I thought I have to get up to go to work in a half hour. I'm just getting up. <laughs> I remember that. I remember I that's horrible because that's just, yeah, that's horrible. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
almost done. Give me the pen. I know, right? It's like, just come on, people. Huh, maybe it's what coloring people do, huh, guys? We don't sleep. Cause we don't sleep. Like, we all have that problem. Lord, I wonder if there could be something about that. Like, I don't exactly. know. Like staring at images like this or something over time is causing us to, I don't know. But, you know, I think artistic people in general yeah. have, have disturbed sleep habits. Yeah. Janice, they say everybody dreams. So I don't know. Um, when the doctor had me on all those heavy medications a few years back, I, I never dreamed. So when I kind of came off of that and my REM sleep started coming back and coming back into, you know, whack and everything. And I was having crazy, crazy dreams. Um, but I used to complain to the doctor and he would say, oh, no, everybody dreams. You may just not remember your dream. But of course, I read late. I had read later and found out that those types of medications hinder REM sleep and you know REM sleep is your restorative sleep and that's when I really started having a lot of issues because I you know developed insomnia and if I would have probably just stuck it out it would have probably went away because I had a lot going on in my life at the time but instead I relied on a doctor that medicated me and and now I think that's part of the problem is that I was medicated for so long and I don't think my body's like coming back, um, you know, in line or, you know, it's, it's just not getting back to normal like it should. It's pretty frustrating. Twenty minutes. Yeah, that's. My dad amazes me. He can lay his head down and he's asleep within like 10 minutes. I mean, like snoring and stuff. And yeah, Gary's like, pretty close to that too. Truly. It's, it's insane. Okie dokie 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 dokie. Deb, since you're the only one in here, I'm going to make this big just so I can show this to everybody. Okay. Fine. Oh, Fine. That's nice. Yeah. It's done. It's done. <laughs> Just in case anybody's wondering, this is actually creative coloring book inspiring images to unlock your imagination. No real artists listed. I got the book at Ollie's um, a long time ago. So there we go. Okay, guys. Um, yeah, we did a two hour and a half stream. I'm excited. Um, I'm going to try to do these. Um, I'm really wanting to do one a week where it's just a color sip and chat. I think it's a neat thing. You guys saw that um, Purple Princess came in and chatted with us um, and everything. So, you know, you guys are free to do that anytime. Also, when we have these type of streams, I'll send out links so people can log in and chit chat. It doesn't cost you a penny or anything. Um, my computer and StreamYard's computers and YouTube's computers are handling everything. So our guests that come in and out, it doesn't, you know, affect you. It, it doesn't affect your internet at all, other than whatever, um, you know, bandwidth you're using on your end. Um, so I hope in the future more people will join in. I, I think it could be a lot of fun. Um, I've enjoyed this. I, I like to really get to know everybody. What are you laughing about? <laughs> you missed one. <laughs> Did I seriously? I see it right there. You know what, Deb? You, you know what you can do. <laughs> uh, my whole day. Thank you. Welcome to my life, people. Okay, that's called pulling a Donna, just so everybody knows. So when it happens to you, awesome. But anyway, yeah, I've, I've really enjoyed this and I hope more people will join in as time goes on and we can all, um, you know, start getting more comfortable with each other. So, yeah. All right. So I'm not the only one sitting here. Somebody come help me out next time. Exactly. Deb needs some help. I mean, really, it's. it's <laughs> she needs help. Yep. 
All right. Um, I don't know if I will be streaming next weekend or not because Friday is my birthday. Um, and Gary has that off. So we're going to do something for that. I'm not sure if he's working Saturday. So if he's not, if he is working Saturday, I'll try to stream maybe Saturday night and that could be fun. Um, so yeah, but, um, I'll put a notice up on Facebook and in YouTube to let everybody know what we're going to be doing and, um, goodbye everybody. And thanks for tuning in. And, um, you have anything you need to say, Deb? Deb? Just goodbye, and it was fun. It's always fun. I love you guys to death. So until next time, guys, peace, love, and happy coloring. Bye, guys. Thank you so much for Bye -bye. being here. <laughs>